Cardi. Cardi B. Yeah, man. That's, Cardi, that's whack. Cardi, Cardi B. That's whack. Just, you know, she went well, on a little that... tirade today. You know? Say what? What, what happened? She was a little upset. At... She first announced that she was separated from, from, from Offset, her husband of what, what, two years? No. They ain't been together longer than that. Together a little bit. Let's give it four. That might be all right. I mean, well, they got a kid. What do you got? Two kids? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, two. They got two kids. They just freestyle. All right. So at least five. I say I give it a five. Five? Five? I give it a five. All right, right. Respectfully. So um Yeah, they 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 kind of separated and then she 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 kind of early in the week she announced her separation. Mm -hmm. He had his birthday party last night, and then he you know, so celebrated everything was cool. Then this morning, she 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 kind of woke up and she was a little on one. Mm. She was she was a little ornery. She was a little upset that you know she wasn't there and everything mm. like that. And went on a tirade and cursed cursed them out. Yeah, and their divorce that she wasn't what at his well birthday? well well she didn't really say that, but you could kind of see that's what triggered it. Okay, you know, and there was rumors that he was there with another woman, but but there's no pictures or any of evidence of it. And she was a little triggered. And I guess they're next on the chopping block, as far as a married couple to be divorced. Yeah, yeah. Anything to it? Like, is there anything there? Like, is there anything? You know, I'm 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 a I'm a theorist. Okay, All right. And uh, yeah, they, the shit ran its course. They got a couple of bags together. They had some kids, and you know they they can go their ways. Uh, those are those are I think those are the couples that can unconscious consciously uncouple. But if it's not anything like uh, super negative going on, like infidelity or something like that, because I think they may choose their partners for specific reasons. Not necessarily based on a foundation of love, and them wanting to be with some, be with that person. It's like it could be a, a motive like money or a business. A I'm business starting to situation. hear a lot of conversations about, and especially it's coming from from women who are saying that they cannot see themselves with one person forever, and they're actually putting a number on how many years they could be married for are they married that's the question no no these aren't married women yeah bro so this was not I, so i was trying to like paint it like am i at a disadvantage because i saw my parents married for like a lot of years like am i living in like a fairy tale kind of land like that i saw that and that's what i i aspire to or is it more should you just aspire to like be with somebody for a couple of years and like like people aren't taking the institution of marriage that's not your reality see it's like it's to, really not for, for us to take on other people's reality yeah like a lot like even that that woman that's in that video mm. i noticed that she doesn't have a wedding ring on right mm. and she's questioning the the um the union of marriage like oh why are people still getting married yeah. Yeah, you would say that because you're not married, right? Right, right? You haven't you haven't been in it to see the advantages of it. Advantages or disadvantages, whatever you want to call it. You don't know. You know what I mean? So uh you being on the outside looking in to say something like that, uh, eh, not too cool. But um I think a lot of a lot of the times like we look at other people's experiences. They make blanket statements, yeah. and like, uh, like somebody that's dating, and somebody that's like, all right, in and out of you know short term relationships. Yeah, your mentality is going to be like, I can't see myself with a person for the long term because yeah, I've been with it's somebody. not working. Well, that I'm saying that's their that's their existence, right? Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. like, all right. I can't see nobody because. All right, Put yourself keep, in that person's shoes. Why be pessimistic? Because the results make me pessimistic. Mm. 
if let's just say I want to get married, right? Yeah. I want to get married, but what I get is I get I get to date somebody for a while. Yeah. We sleep together and yeah. then we split up. Yeah. Right? I'm going to I'm going to move my 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 thought process or my narrative or my agenda to say yo to to kind of mirror what's going on in my life mm-hmm. right it's not happening i'm not having no long term relationships so it's like yeah what's the point of long term relationships right why not just be with somebody for a short period of time and then move on to the next i'm just trying to spin spin my situation and make it a positive instead of it being a negative because i'm not getting the results that i want so you bend the reality to make yourself feel better. Yeah, I think a lot of people do that. Okay. They do that. I think they I believe that. Like you'll have you don't have women. But the numbers aren't re- re- reflecting. They're, no, they don't. The numbers are real. The numbers are people are having divorces. No, yeah. These divorces are primarily being initiated by w- women. They are. And the lesbian rate with women on women marriage is 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 alarming. I think it's like eighty percent of the divorces. Yeah, I think I, so. Women are filing for divorce at a crazy rate, and we've been talking about it for a long time. But it's like now we're 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 here, like it's it's just normalized. Yeah, I think I think there's a number of different factors, like. I, I still believe that women women are easily influenced, right? Mm. Where this is why, like, when it comes to uh, retail, shopping, merchandising, and stuff like that, yeah. people that put out ads and they got products to sell, they pitch women because they know women can just, if you, if you could push the right buttons or you could, like, uh, spark the right nerve emotion the, the the right emotion they'll buy something you understand what i'm right, saying right. so if you, if you if you got a woman that's married she's in a relationship or whatever and she might feel like uh yeah this relationship is it's pretty okay it's good you know what i mean but then they go on instagram and they see uh shout out to like millennial married or whatever and one of these couples got a got a uh video and they in a big ass house and they fucking playing playing around they got their kids and they dressed alike and they living this perfect ass life it's like well my life is not like that i could have that like but i settled for this so you know what like it's out there i could have that right they're not even taking into account like yo that's really not real they're just shooting a video or whatever like that but they're not showing all their life they're showing like a video that they made about their life showing the hardship yeah they're not showing like because a real marriage if if people showed real marriage Mm -hmm. like the people that are like really down for the shit Mm -hmm. that got the staying power for it those are the people that would get married if you showed the real without divulging too too much cool what what what's the hard thing about being married Um. Well, we'll come back to you. No, 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 no. It's it's just trying to stay active. You know, yeah, I think yeah. trying to stay interested. Right. Uh, that sounds bad. I mean, it's like, I mean, like trying to keep Empathy. things. No, trying to keep things evolving. Yeah. You know, trying to work on yourself. You know, trying to better yourself trying to be the best person that you can be taking another person in consideration yeah no no that's crazy yeah right because you know we're all gonna that's what we want we want to grow we want to be the best fucking version of ourselves we want to be able to be superheroes right but you you got to look at the person next to you and you know either a hope they're growing with you hope they if not growing with you yeah just simply understand where you're going. It's like a tree growing it's in a like a, growing. like a like a growing into like a like growing inside of a building. You have to like 
Yeah. Well, yeah. You wanna you wanna grow, but you wanna grow within the confines within the confines of the building and right. still keep the building like you know beautiful to, to use and myself, keep everything nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. To use myself as an example, it's like I know the career that I'm chasing now might make me have to be out more, be you know, more outside. Mm. So I usually base my fun now off of being outside at that time. You know what I mean? I don't do anything extra. I'm like literally home if I'm not, you know, or with children if I'm not like working basically. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm trying to find joy within the work. Um, so that's me attempting to really try to try something new and focus on something new, but still keeping, you know, um, another person in mind and what their feelings are and, you know, having children, right? Also, well, they trump all of this shit, first of all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Let me just start. Like, yeah. I love my wife, but my kids are my, I have to keep them alive. <laughs> that, you know, man getting big, man. I love my wife, but she could keep herself alive. Like, my kids need me to keep them alive. Yeah. You know what I mean? My wife is very capable. Um, so, yeah, I would say that, man. Trying to just like evolve and, and be your best self, but, you know, with a person's uh you know with a person's feelings in mind i guess yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah.